That looks very good. I believe we'll see a proper bloom by the end of the month, right on schedule. That's great, but will the flower smell any better than the rest of it? No, the stench will likely be worse, but it'll make for a very dramatic centerpiece at the blooming party. I've already received confirmation from more than a dozen eminent herbologists from around the globe. It's going to be quite the extravaganza. You're throwing a party for the plant? I know it's a bit unusual, but this bloom really is a significant event. We will definitely need to practice bubblehead charms in class. That should help protect everyone at the party from the worst of the aroma. Are you saying there's a spell we could have been using all along? Oh, yes. Actually, I think it's in this book. It's a challenging charm, but you can practice it tonight while taking care of the star attraction. We'll do our best, sir. Excellent, and thank you again for coming in so early on a Saturday. Oh, and... Watch out for the oversized pests. They seem especially drawn to the smell. Good luck! What do you think Professor Longbottom meant by oversized pests? I'm sure he was just kidding. Ah, here we go. The Bubblehead Charm. It says it's excellent for avoiding unpleasant smells and breathing underwater. For what? Robbing the mer people? That sounds like something your friend Elliot would say. Elliot is not a criminal. He's... Well, he just knows his way around the rules. He showed me that I need to focus on what's important to me, regardless of what anyone else thinks. Including your friends? Actually, I don't think Crane is going to be around much longer. Who told you that? Rita Skeeter wrote an article blaming the Ministry's failure to catch not me on Crane. She says Crane accused Professor Longbottom out of jealousy, and it's her fault that students are in danger. That's not true at all. Tell that to Gridley. He sent another owl demanding to see me tonight. I've got a feeling he's been reading the Prophet. You can't see him alone. You have to tell someone. Tell Hagrid, or Professor Longbottom. He'll understand. And risk Esme getting hurt? I can't. I need to do this myself. But don't worry, I'll be careful. I won't do anything crazy, I promise. <laughs> Guys, I don't think the professor was kidding about the pests. Spiders. Ventus. Warning you. Now you're in trouble. A partner. Nimbus down. Expulsive. Spiders. Ugh, come on. Let's clean up. We're already late for breakfast. There you are! Did you see this morning's paper? Did they include us in the story this time? Well, there is a story about Crane's investigation, but it doesn't mention any of you by name. That's good. The last thing I need to be is famous. Um, there is another story by Rita Skeeter, and while I'm sure none of it is true, um... 
What? What's the story about? I knew it! Little Danny Page is a bloody criminal just like his dear old dad. The whole family is in jail. His mum is even in Azkaban. I knew it all along, of course. He has that look. Shut up, Cassandra! Or what? You'll curse me? Go ahead, then. Tell us the truth, Daniel. Are you a bloody page? Or were you not good enough for Daddy's crooked little muggle empire? Yes, all of it. My family are a bunch of criminals. Go ahead and get a good look. Last point. Call me a criminal. I don't care what you think. Any of you. <laughs> Mom's in Azkaban, is she? What for? Giving birth to a freak like you? <laughs> Probably happy to be rid of him. He's not exactly a master criminal, is he? Daniel, no. You're better than this. <laughs> I know I am. And now, I'm going to shit. A pisky. Inflatus. Transfiguration. Oh. Essence of Dick. Potato. Display while here, not by the circumstances of the upbringing. But bad behavior is still bad behavior, and attacking another student would not be tolerated. Detention tonight. Fine. Daniel, wait. alone but we're your friends we'll stick by you no matter what I don't need a friend right now <sighs> go back to the castle I'll see you later detention Dangerous criminal on the loose at Hogwarts. Go ahead, do your worst. I don't care. You will when the next one hits you in the face. That's brilliant. 
I thought you'd like that. But next time, do it yourself. I won't always be around to stick up for you. I know. It's just... everybody knows about my family now. Now you've got nothing to hide. They can't hurt you anymore. And if they try, hurt them right back. Give them a real reason to be afraid of you. Thank you. Besides, if everyone thinks you're a villain, they'll be thrilled when you turn out to be the hero. Unless you really are the bad guy. See you around, Daniel. I told you not to come. I could have done this by myself. If you think I'd let you face Gridley alone, you're crazy. Certainly made a mess of things, didn't you? Dueling in the halls, talking to the press, making a celebrity of yourself. It's a wonder not me hasn't fled the school. And now here you are, without my key, even though you know who has it. We do? It's Longbottom, you fools! His name is all over the Daily Prophet. Crane even had him pegged from the start. But he's a respected professor and a hero. Even Rita Skeeter doesn't believe he's involved. Skeeter knows how to write a story, that's all. It's Longbottom, has to be. He was there the first night in Hogsmeade, and he clearly has something to hide. The only thing I can't figure out is this beaming Gala. Who does such a thing? Maybe it's not a party. Maybe it's an auction for the key. Of course! He's going to sell the skeleton key to the highest bidder! Yes! That's what I will do. That's what I will do! After I get my key back. I'm working on it. I just need more time. What you need is motivation. Mr. Frank! It's me! I warned you, Daniel. I gave you more than enough time to pay your mother's debt. Now I fear it's become your debt. And I intend to collect in full from your sister. I'll get your key. Let her go! I know you will, because you are going to do exactly what I tell you from now on. Starting with the silly flower affair. I plan to attend the gala and beat Longbottom at his own game. You'll never get close to Longbottom. Not without my help. There it is! That's what I've been waiting to hear! Finally, the young criminal shows his true colors! Welcome to the game, Daniel Page. Go back to school. Cover me until I get back. I won't be long. You can't help him, Daniel. He's a villain, but I have to do this. Sometimes you have to be bad to do good. But I came to protect you. I'm not going to leave you here. You will. I know what I'm doing. Now go and be careful. And don't tell Ivy. <laughs> 